Hi guys, welcome to the 4th Moment Weekly Roundup and this is where you get your weekly dose of local football action and uh, yeah, we've got some news for you as usual what we try to do every week, give you uh, some sort of uh, insight or not insight results and fixtures, Andrew, not mm -hmm. insight not because we can't really give insight we're yeah, just that's true. delivering what happened nothing mm -hmm. special Nothing special. How was your weekend? Good Nice, we had a good week uh, we started pre-season this week Oh yeah, last right. week Yeah, this week this week, um, yeah, yeah. Um, got quite a number of players down wanting to trial from other clubs, um, from other regions. It's amazing how much, pe how many people want to play ABC football. Yeah. Um, so now you obviously now spend a couple of weeks yeah. filtering down and getting to your final squad. We we still don't know when we're starting the ABC or anything yet. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently there's a meeting on the eighth of September with all the clubs. Mm. So we're waiting on that, and yeah, we'll keep going until we got a final squad that we think will yeah will Look, compete. We, we know there's a. Um, I'm not sure what to call it, if it's a proposal or something. Or, yes. Um, so I'm sure everybody knows about it, where the APC Mutsepe is probably going to be split into two streams. Two streams of, of 12. Of 12. Yeah. And then also um, the big talk, talking point is obviously that franchises will be given basically to yeah, teams to outside teams, of the yeah. area. Mm. And there's a whole um, discussion about it at the moment, obviously. Um, so the gist of it, I think, is that uh, Cape Town is seen to have the money. And so it's, uh, yeah, I don't know where that comes from, but... No. Um, <laughs> they obviously, don't, they're not involved with clubs, yeah. So, yeah, but anyway, we'll, we, okay. We're just mentioning it, can't give mm -hmm. anything about it yet because there's nothing... Uh, yeah, I think yet. people, yeah, people, I think the perception out there is that the Cape Town clubs have lots of money and they pay mm. their players. But I mean, if you look at some clubs, you know, yes, some clubs pay their players, but you'll find that those same players will go to another club for free. Yeah. You know, just at that stage, they're getting paid. So, you know, we've got to look at the, yes, we understand the inequality with too many Cape Town teams in mm. there, but they earned that right to be in that league at that stage by getting yeah. promotion or whatever. But listen, and, I think, and I think just to stop you there, that's yeah. the talking point. Yes, that's a talking the point. The clubs have played to get there. Yes, yeah. obviously, there are franchises that support. Mm. So the feeling is that, um, you know, to give it away, you sort of devalue. But anyway, as I say, we're just talking. We, we Once God's greetings come out, yeah. we'll give it. Maybe we uh, shouldn't be talking about it right now. Um, but yeah, once yeah. we get that information, we'll see. Yeah, we'll but at the end of the day, that is the chatter at the moment on the ABC Mutsepe. Yeah, listen, and, and by the way, it has been approved by National, mm. South and National anyway. And, and it has we, been approved yes, already. It has been, and it was we, a proposal. No, it has been approved. And apparently the, the provincial exco have approved the is format. It? So oh. we, as, as far as everything legally goes, that's what it's going to end up. But it obviously, you know, we need to wait for the final notification. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, let's continue with what we normally do. We're going to start with the Cape Town Women's mm -hmm. Regional League. So there were matches played on Saturday and Sunday. I've got some results here. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll get going. UWC got a good 3-1 win on Hots, over Hotspurs on Saturday. Good result. Yeah. Manenberg ladies and Strenkasi Queens played this. Strenkasi Queens took the gold scoring boots with them, Andrew, and okay. got an 11-0 oh. pass Manenberg ladies. Ooh. Salt River Blackpool beating Mighty City ladies 4-2. Wow. Uh, we had a match on Friday night too where Atlantis Saints ladies played against Rygate and it was a 1-0 draw. So good point away from, from oh, home good for, result. for Atlantis Saints. Good result. On Sunday, some matches played the Hotspurs, winning Regestal 4-1. Cape Town Swallows losing 6-1 to CPUT. Sure. Green Lovers beating Burnley 2-0. Wow. Manenberg ladies losing again. They're 3-0 against Rygate ladies. Sure, that's good. Burnley losing 8-0 to Salt River Blackpool. Wow. So Good yeah. result for Salt River Blackpool. Yeah, so some of these matches, obviously, you'll notice there's 2-1-1 on one day, but it's outstanding matches that were played. Yeah. So that's basically what happened there. Then looking at the logs, uh, CPUT top of the lock, Real Brazilians uh, second. Um, one point difference with Real Brazilians playing one match less. So, okay. like we know, I think it's sort of going to be between the two, Andrew. Yeah, Maybe I think so. We know about so. Real Brazilians were top of the lock last week. Correct. This week they're second, but they got a one match uh, in handy. Uh, looking at the fixtures for this weekend, we've got some matches on Friday. We've got Rygate ladies playing against Mighty City ladies. Ooh. And Salt River Blackpool playing against Hot Spurs um, at the UCT. So that will be a good game to watch. Friday night, sure. Yeah. On Saturday, we've got UWC against Cape Town Swallows. Burnley up against CPUT. Atlanta Saints ladies on against Real Brazilians. This is on Saturday. And then Strenkars to Queens against Green Lovers. And then we also got Regersdal versus Manenberg ladies. And then on Sunday, there's one match. Atlanta Saints ladies up against Burnley. So yeah. that's your Cape Town Women's Regional League. Yeah, things are wow. up there. Um, like we say, that 
the top two was sort of uh, decided. There we go to see who takes it at the end. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Mm. Um, we got no Cecil League results, Shamo, um, okay. for this week. So I think we'll move on to Cape Town Tigerberg. Mm. Interesting weekend to Cape Town Tigerberg. Yeah, there was a big match on Saturday, if I remember, right? Eh? Yes, correct. Which you were there, obviously. I was there. It must be there, yeah. Yeah, so, so let's go. Uh, the, the results from the last week, mm. uh, Cape Town Tigerberg Saturday, Bowel City, no Buddhas of one. Good result for Buddhas of away. Yeah. If in Rangers won, Weinberg St. John's two. We said that would be a nice game. Uh, okay. Good result for Weinberg. So that's away, away for a moment. Yeah, good yeah. result for Weinberg. Good result. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave that game for last. JMI 2, Edgemead 4. Good result for Edgemead. Big week for Edgemead. We'll get to some of the other results this week. Yeah. Very good week for Edgemead. Fishhook no Greenpoint 2. Good result for Greenpoint wow, away yeah. at Fishhook. That's a good result. Norway Parks 1, Sunningdale 0. No, that battle at the bottom. Norway Parks edging it 1-0. No. Tableview 4, Saxon Rovers 1. Saxon's um, last two away games have had a uh, bit of trouble. They got mm -hmm. a hammering against Fishhook and now against Tableview. So, um, yeah, I need to pick up their socks. Sunday games, FN Rangers 3, JMI 2, good result for FN, they need that points. JMI not having a good uh, weekend. No, and FN moving off the bottom of the log now. Yeah. Fishuk 1, Bodezach 0, no. this was a very good result for Fishuk mm. at home, Shamil. Yeah. Then Rakhisdal 0, no. Garden Village 2, good yeah. result for Garden Village away at Rakhisdal. Rakhisdal in a bit of a slump there, Shamil. Yeah. And again, Tuesday night there were games, Balbo City 0, no. FN Rangers 4, but FN Rangers now picking up 6 points out of 9 this mm. week. The, the edge meet I was talking about, big game, Tuesday night. Edge meet two, table view ones, third versus oh, fourth. Okay, yeah. Good result for edge meet over table view. And then on Tuesday night as well, Saxon over three, green point one. Saxon's redeeming themselves, getting a point. And then the game I left for last time, the top of the table clash on Saturday. Hanover Park one, Vasco de Gama three. Um, I was at that game, Sharmel, very good game. Um, mm. I've got to say the standard of football end to end, very, very good. You know, if I have to be honest, I'm not putting my Vasco cap on it. I know Vasco got the result, but Hanover Park actually had more chances. Is it? Yeah, they had more of the chances, Shamil, um, that especially in the second half, um, early in the second half, there were about four or five good chances that they had that they didn't convert. Mm. And unfortunately for them, Vasco took most of their chances. So yeah. that's how Vasco ended up winning 3-1. I think also, you know, at the end of the day, Shamil, there was a nice crowd. It was good football. And yeah, this was on Saturday, no, when it was raining. Saturday when it was raining up. So this is how the log looks now before we get to the fixtures. Yeah. Top of the log, still Hanover Park after 22 games, 52 points. Second, Vasco after 20 games, 48 points. So Vasco's mm -hmm. four points behind with two games in hand. Third, Edgemead with 22 games played, 45 points. And fourth, Table View after 20 games of 41 points. So I think we're looking at mm. maybe being... The top four there, one of those four will win the league. At the moment, Vasco and Hanover Park are, are dueling there. But fixtures for this weekend, Shano. And there are a number of games. Sundays, we'll get to Coke later. This Coke, which will obviously affect the games for this weekend. Mm -hmm. But let's get to this weekend. Thursday night, Vasco de Gama versus Fishhook. Vasco need the three points. Obviously, this is one of the games yeah. that they can catch up to Hanover Park. Edgemead versus Norway Parks Friday night. Edgemead should take that. Edgemead could take that. And also find out Weinberg St. John's versus Rakhisdal. That's traditionally a very nice game. Yeah. Um, I was at the return game early in the season when Rakhisdal won. Very nice game. Saturday, Bordesak versus Tableview. Bordesak need points. Tableview need to come back from the loss. Garden Village, JMI. Now those are two teams who might be dragged into the relegation battle, okay. Sharmel. So that should be a nice game. Greenpoint Salesians versus Bowel. Two teams also need yeah. points. Bowel need points. Second bottom, on, yeah. uh, now bottom on the log. Um, so they need points. Saxon Rovers versus FN Rangers. <laughs> Royal Road Derby. Yeah. yeah, right across the road. Uh, Coach Shakes got to get his boys up just to walk across the field there. That's going to be a nice game. It's always a traditionally a nice game. So that'll be a good one to watch. Sunningdale versus Hanover Park. Sunningdale, just above the relegation zone. Hanover Park, top of the log, tough yeah. for Sunningdale. And then Sunday, we got FN Rangers versus Fishhook. FN will want to pick up another three points. And Weinberg St. John's versus Greenpoint. Tough for Greenpoint. Yeah, tough for Greenpoint. So those are the fixtures shown for this weekend in Cape Town Tigerberg. Cool. Okay. Exciting stuff there. Looks like top three, actually, I would say. One of the top three. Yeah, I think so. Three. Yeah. Then uh, we're jumping to Northern's LFA. So we've got some matches that were played there. Calcium Fontaine. They won the weekend, Andrew. Yes. 2-1 against Belstar. Love it. 3-0. Uh, Blue Down Spurs winning Ravens meet 3-0. Falala beating Invincible Cravenby 3 2. That sounds like good, a good result. Tight match there. Good result for, for Valhalla. Yeah. Bellstar 1 0 up against uh, UWC. Good result. Belleville 4 0 against Renatarians. Bishop Lavers 1 1 against Blue Down Spurs. Eastern Rovers 
uh, beating Riverside 3-2 and a Sunday match for Kalkstein Fontaine versus Valhalla. Valhalla winning Kalkstein Fontaine there 3-0. No. Good result. Valhalla should still be top of the log then, looking at the results. Yes, they are. Valhalla top of the log, 18 matches played, 36 points. Ravens meet in second spot with 17 matches played, 28 points. And third, Bishop Lavers, 14 matches played, only with 26 points. So, yeah, still up for grabs there. Um, Bishop Lavers four games behind. So, yeah, still up there. So Valhalla just need to keep on winning. Yeah, 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 that's it. And then they'll be off to the playoffs. And yeah, they'll be there yeah. at the playoffs. I think we're getting to that stage where we're yeah. looking at the playoffs. Definitely. Um, I've only got a few matches here for uh, Northerns. Uh, Bishop Lavers against Bellstar, Invincible against Eastern, and UWC against Belleville. Now, I don't know if that's because those teams, the other teams are involved in the Coke Cup still. Yeah. So a lot of LFAs obviously give their teams off. Also, the might be Cup games this weekend. We, we, you know, we're not aware of any of its Cup yeah. games also. No, but the, yeah, yeah, okay. But anyway, that's the fixtures we have. Okay, cool. Mitchell's playing. Big yeah, weekend, yeah, 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 Now, yeah. Shama, before I give the results yeah. to the Mitchell's playing people out there, mm. I don't know what was in that rain this weekend, but on Saturday, I can tell you, there were goals? a lot of goals. Okay. It was raining goals Saturday. <laughs> so let's go. One by one. Bail four, Stantiff two. Stantiff, Shamil, getting dragged down towards back the relegation down. zone. Yeah. yeah, back down. Bail, good win. Beacon City two, Syringa Spurs three. Good result for Syringa Spurs. Mm -hmm. Beacon Spurs 2, Bayview 1. Bayview struggling. Beacon Spurs near the top of the table there. Well done to them. Cedar Park 1, Log Leaders, FC Tafelsucht 2. FC Tafelsucht just keep on going, Shalom. Yeah. Juventus 5, Lentegeer 0. No. Good Jeez. result for Juventus. Good result, yeah. Milano 2, Liverpool Portland 3. Now, that yeah. was what we anticipated to be a tight game. Yeah. Good result for Liverpool, Liverpool Portland. Yeah. Now we get to the rugby score, Shalom. Ah, no, just... We anticipated this. Red Rovers 1, Westridge 10. Yeah. You thought that was bad. Rockefeller 6, Colville 5. Also 11 goals. That should have been end to end. Can yeah. you imagine that? They just shared the number. Yeah, there. they just said good, good games. Yeah. Good, good results. Now we get to Sunday. Bayview 1, Colville 1. Good point for Bayview. For needing Bayview, the points. Yeah. Cedar Park versus Beacon Spurs is postponed. FC Tafels looked again edging, edging the results. Arnold. FC sure. Tafels looked 2, Rockefellers 1. Never easy against Rockefellers. Good young team. Tough game for Rockefellers. 6-5 eh? yeah. and 2-1. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lentegeer versus Bale, uh, that game didn't complete. Mm. Liverpool Portland's five, Beacon City no. Liverpool Portland's good weekend, six points. Mm. Milano four, Red Rovers no. Okay. Good result for Milano. Stantov, bad weekend. Yeah. Good weekend for Juventus. Stantov one, Juventus four. Big six points for Juventus. Yeah. Now, Shama, let's get to the fixes before we get to the log, because you must remember, I don't have a combined log yet. Yeah. Fixes for this weekend. Saturday, Bayview versus Red Rovers. We anticipate Bayview to get three points there. Juventus versus Beacon City. Lentegeer Tafelsucht, that would be a nice game. Yeah. Liverpool Portland versus Cedar Park. Colville versus Beacon Spurs. Syringa Spurs versus Rockefellers. Nice That's game. Be a tight one, yeah. Stantov got a tough one. Stantov at home against Milano at Rocklands. Mm -hmm. Westridge at Westridge versus Bale. That'll be a good game. Charmin, I watched Bale in the Coke. I know they got a hammering there by uh, Young Pirates, but they have, they have a talented squad. And so do Westridge. I was Westridge the previous week, I think, against Juventus two weeks ago. Okay. Then on Sunday, Bayol again versus Milano. That'll be a nice game. Bayview versus Rockefellers. Lentegeer versus Cedar Park. Colville versus Beacon City. Syringa Spurs versus Juventus. Nice game. That'll be end to end. Standoff needing points against Red Rovers. The two teams around Red Rovers playing them this weekend. Yeah. And Westridge and Beacon Spurs. That game has been moved because Westridge, um, sorry, Beacon Spurs are still in the Coke. And Bale United versus Bayview. So that'll be Dar be Darby. That'll be the next week, sorry. So Shana, the log, as it currently stands in Mitchell's plane. Um, in the second round log, I don't have a combined log. Second round log, FC Tafels of top, eight matches played, 19 points. I can't tell you on combined log, they ahead. Okay. Second Liverpool Portland, seven games, 18 points. Third Juventus, who made a big charge in the second round. Yeah. Eight matches played, 16 points. Okay. Same as Beacon Spurs. So, yeah, Mitchell's playing, hotting up, Shamil. Yeah. A lot of exciting stuff mm. happening in Mitchell's playing also. So, yes, uh, we're going to jump now to South Peninsula. So, the guys out at uh, Roy Kranz there. Um, let's see how the teams fared this week. Azuri, if I remember, they were sort of second spot last week, winning 4 0 against Aerial Spurs. Lavender Hill beating Atletico United 8 0. King David United beating Rainbow Chiefs 9 0. And Wanderers beating Crusaders 5 0. Got some postponed matches there uh, and some walkovers. So let's look at the log. Oh, yeah. Aces top of the log there. Hmm. 
16 matches played 40 points. Azuri, 16 matches played 37 points wow. in second spot. And 36 points with 16 matches played also is Lavendale. So, um, well done. I like it to see, when, you know, like seeing when uh, all LFAs, they have the, the matches are mm. the same, you know, uh, played. So, it gives every, everybody knows where they are. Yeah, sort of in correct. The, in, the, in the game there. So, looking at fixtures this weekend, we've got Crusaders uh, going up against King David United. Ooh. Cape Town Military playing Azuri. Sure. Lavender Hill up against Aerial Spurs. Oasis against Atletico United. Rainbow Chiefs against Super Lucky Stars. And Squeal up against Wanderers. So, yeah, exciting stuff there at um, South okay. Currents. Yeah, mm. um, sort of different log sort of that we used to, but uh, it's great to see. Yeah, I still think Lavender Hill will make a charge towards the end. Yeah. Uh, and, and remember, those who are aware, the Coke Cup tonight, Lavender Hill play Azuri, a derby. Yeah. It will be at Hickory Road. That's, that's Thursday night for yeah. those of you who got yeah. out there. We're going to get to Mannenberg, uh, Hederfeld, sorry. <laughs> Mannenberg on the brain today. To Hederfeld. Results from Hederfeld for the weekend. EST Academy won. Everton United won. Shock result. Um, Everton flying second on the log. EST languishing near the bottom. Draw 1-1. Okay. Young Pirates 15, Chelsea Athletic, no. No comment. Right, Marvel 1, Saxon United 4, and Montana 2, goal 15, no. It's a good result for Montana there, Shamil. Yeah. Let's look at the log. 11 from 11, top of the log, Young Pirates, 33 points. Second, Everton United on 28 points. And then there's quite a big gap to the third place team. So it's looking like it's Young Pirates taking control of that league, but there's still a way to go. Fixes for this weekend. Shamil, on Friday, EST Academy versus Young Pirates. Let's see if EST can continue their game, the result they got against Everton against Young Pirates. Saxon United versus Everton on Saturday. Goal 50 versus Chelsea Athletic on Saturday. And Montana versus Marvel. So, Haderfeld looking like it's a Young a young Pirates position at this point. Yeah. So, let's see what happens in the next couple of weeks. Cool. Okay, we're going to jump now to Cape District, uh, where there was some uh, exciting action happening there. Uh, looking at some of the results that we do have, we've got FC Kefta losing 3-2 to Batswood. So that's a good win for Batswood. Uh, Greenwood and Wolves drawing one all. I think that's a good draw for Greenwood because Wolves are sort of uh, were title contenders or are title contenders. And Montague Spurs are beating Wesley 4-0 there. Montague Spurs, like mentioned before, quite a few former ABC players. And then there was one match which we sort of highlighted last week. Um, we've got to talk about this week is the Salt River or Ashford versus Salt River game, uh, which took place at Heathfield. Now, remember, Ashford was top of the lock, but Salt River in second. Mm. So, around the 60th minute in that game, Salt River were leading 1 0. Okay. Apparently, they were sort of um, dominant at that time okay. of the game. And there was sort of an incident that happened on the field with a rough tackle, and we had spectators involved, and basically the game was abandoned. So, obviously, that case has got to be heard by the DC. Uh, we will probably see a replay of that mm. remaining time of that match. So, obviously, no result there. But looking at the log, there were matches played in the week. I think Rossi Park versus RC, it was played last night. Uh, last result there, it was 5 0. Um, then there were some other matches played also. But here's the log 13 matches played. Ashford still top of the log with 31 points. 13 matches played Salt River with 30 points. Uh, Wolves, 14 matches played, 27. And Montague Spurs in fourth, 14 matches played. 25 points. Sure, still tight on the top. Yeah, right? no, still tight there. So, looking at the fixtures coming up this weekend, we've got Clearwood up against Greenwood. It's going to be a tough game for both of those sides. It's going to be a good game. Grossi Park versus FC Kefta. Grossi Park should win, but it's it's that type of game mm. where it's like a derby. Um, Montague Spurs versus Salt River. Now, that's going to be a tough that's one. Be a nice game. Yeah, that's going to be, be a nice game. Montague Spurs have a nice team. Yeah, and Salt River, basically, they they uh, played less matches. They just need to win the remaining matches and they, and they win the league. Uh, Ocean View against Ashford. Ashford's got to travel to, to Ocean View, so it's not always an easy trip. RC up against Wesley and Wolves up against Batswood, so Wolves should take that win there. Um, yeah, that's sort of Cape District. So nice to see the, the this is the time of the year we're waiting for uh, Andrew, sort of the, the, the end to the end, not end, but the last third of the season where we see okay. who's first, second, looking at the playoffs, who's going to get there. So yeah, exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Let's get to the Coke, Charnel. Okay. Are you finished with the LFAs? Yeah, I'm done. Coke's going to be exciting this weekend. Coke's happening at different venues. Uh, Roy Crans, Nianga, Symphony mm -hmm. Park, and the Greens for the senior division. Highlight a couple of games, Charnel, um, that you and I are still in, eh? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're playing FC Tafelsuch this weekend. A tough game for you and I. 
Uh, only you playing tafel sausage? Tafel, if she tafel sausage, no. tafel along with your spray. You and, my, you and I, you and I might be. Ah, you and I might be. Uh, only the brave Rygate versus Everton mm. from the younger. That'll be a nice game. Mm. Hazendahl versus Fast Eleven. Uh, Salt River Blackpool versus Electric City. That'll yeah. be a nice game. Um, Vasco da Gama. They are playing a tough one on Sunday, Sharma. Vasco da Gama are playing a team from Greater Philippi called City Rose. Um, let's see what else we got. We've got Hanover Park, top of Cape Town Tigerberg, playing the winner of Missouri or Lavender Hill. Edgemead, the Edgemead game. Edgemead game will be tough. Shana. Against FC Salvo. FC Salvo, tough yeah. one. Liverpool up against Montague Spurs. Correct. That's going to be an interesting game. That's going to be a nice game. I must game. say, that's going to be a very interesting encounter. Where's and that's at Roy Crans. At Roy Crans. Uh, uh, I will be at Roy Crans. Uh, Vasco are playing there. Um, and Hanover Park are playing there. So I'm more yeah. than likely be there. Edgemead also playing there. I think a lot of Cape Town. How's this game here? Jail, Zwane up against I was going to get that. Woo! That's a good one. Yeah. That's going to be a good one. Spurs up against Bishop Lavers. That's a yeah, nice Bowstar versus Saxons. Bowstar, Northern Suburbs. Mm. Decent team. That's also going to be a tough one, Sharmel. Yes. Sure. Yeah, last 32. This is obviously with... Uh, Roy Crans. A lot of games at Roy Crans. Yeah. Guy, uh, guys and girls out there, ladies. Ladies, mm. Sharmel. Ooh, this is where. And Dangerous Heroes. Badgers versus Dangerous Heroes. Yeah. That's going to be a tough one. That's at Nyanga. Check out the next one. Hout Bay against Rechersdal. Hout Bay versus Rechersdal. Top mm. game. Top nice. game. Stantiff against Royal Titans. Stantiff doing well. Yeah. Salt River Blackpool ladies versus Lavender Hill ladies. That's going to be a tough one for them. Yeah. Rockefellers, ladies versus Invincible KMB. No easy games here, Shamil. Spurs playing U CPUT. CPUT yeah. Ooh, tough one. Mitchell's playing, another Mitchell's playing team. Hot Spurs playing against RV United. Yeah. Borders of versus Rygate, ladies. Borders of have a good team in the LFA, Shamil. That'll be tough. Yeah. Check the Cape Town Roses. You, yeah, I know. Cape Town Roses. YMCA, ladies. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a nice one. So, ladies is also looking good at the boys and the 18s. There are a hey. couple of crackers. 11.30 kickoffs. At the same venues, Rossi Park. Here's my team. Rossi yep. Park up against Everton. Who and Everton normally generally a very good under yeah. 18 team. Yes. Um, Bayview, also perennial versus Manenburg City. Mm -hmm. uh, they got a nice team. Let's look for the giant killer Sharma from the previous round. Rockefellers. Rockefellers from Mitchell's Plain. They beat Cape Town Spurs in the previous round, Sharma. Yeah, I think tough match. that was a tough match. Yeah. Rockefellers now playing against Junction Rovers. Another yeah. tough one for them. Junction yeah. had a good, very good team. Yeah. If I remember they qualified, I think, for the engine. Or the bail, one of the two. It might have been the bail. So they got a very nice under 18 team. Yeah. Santos versus Valhalla. Valhalla got very good juniors there. So some very good games. Under 18, this is going to be a tough game. If in Rangers up against PPG Langa. Yeah, PPG, nice team. Team with, with both teams with a lot of history there. The EPA, I think that's the EPA Academy, if I'm yeah. not mistaken, uh, up against City Bombers. Sure. Valhalla, normally doing well. So Valhalla. Normally they have very good youngsters. Yes, they do. Yeah. Um, I watched them at that Peter Group is under 15 yeah. teams very decent. And also a club which I admire for sending, for making sure the, the youngsters actually go further, taking the yeah. players away up in, I remember getting them once up in Joburg at the football event where they were also. So Valhalla up against Santos. So that's going to be a good game. Santos Juniors doing well at the moment. Fast 11 up against Vasco under 18s. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then Woodlands against Young Bafana. That's the game I wanted to highlight. Yeah. Woodlands, Young Bafana. That'll be a very good. Young Bafana beat Greenwood in the previous mm. round. Very good team. Well coached. Yeah. Woodlands as well. Always do well in the Coke. Yeah, I expect that to be a hunting. And that's also at um, Roy Crown Channel. That's also Ooh. Roy Crown, yeah. Is that it? Is there that's more the anymore? Coke. coke is exciting. Another Park. Do we Lost talk about another Park? And Over Park. And the 18s are playing against Blue Down Spurs. That'll be a nice game. Tough game also. Nice game. Yeah. Sure, there's no easy games now. When you get to last 32, Sharmel, yeah, teams you've never heard of before, you've never seen them in the maker run. Yeah. Um, the last couple of years, we've seen um, teams come from nowhere to reach semifinals, finals of the Coke Cup. So, yeah, good luck to everybody playing Coke on Sunday. And I'll see you guys at Roy Crowns. Yeah. Is it all? That's Our it. Time is up. Okay, so that's it from us. Obviously, we've got Super Cup on the brain. We're busy with um, admin side. Vi how do you say? Yeah. Not viciously. Yeah. Thoroughly. Yeah, but we, we're very busy <laughs> with admin side of Super Cup under 16. Um, win the league, uh, win a knockout, get to a knockout final or a cup final. You'll get an invite from the fourth moment to get invited to the tournament. Uh, we're looking at 24 teams this year, boys and 18, sorry, and eight girl teams under 18. Uh, yeah, and keep uh, keep your eye out on our socials for that. And before we go, is that it? That's it. Before you go, we're going to say big ups to Vecchio, our panel sponsor, and GSM Roofing for helping us put out the content. And until next week, cheers. Enjoy the week. Cheers.